Hi, this is Jeremy Howard from Answer.ai with a quick explanation of how to become more productive in Discord. Uh, I kind of live my life in Discord nowadays. It's one of the most productive uh, chat applications I've worked in over the last 30 plus years. Um, probably the best I've ever used was like 35 years ago. We used a client called RN, but Discord maybe is my second most productive. Um, I have a lot of servers in Discord, as you can see, because kind of most AI happens in Discord nowadays. Um, uh, so how do I uh, manage this um, efficiently? Uh, it's basically all about keyboard shortcuts. What I want to do each day is read the channels that I actually care about and ensure that if somebody needs my attention, that they get it. Um, to read the channels that I care about, um, I can see on my screen that the ones marked with little blobs here are the ones that have unread messages. I don't want to miss any messages um, from the channels I care about, so I'm going to read all of them. So to make sure I just read all of them, I start at the very top and I hit Option Shift Down, or uh, I guess on a Windows it would be Alt Shift Down, and it takes me directly, as you can see, to my next unread. Uh, read that, Alt Shift Down or Option Shift Down, next unread. Option shift down, next unread, and I'll just keep doing this. And you'll see it even jumps into threads as well. So it's showing these um, unread stuff inside threads. So I really make sure that I don't miss anything. Now I'm at the end of this um, channel. Uh, actually, one thing, server, one thing I will mention is it's really important then to make sure that you don't see unread stuff in things you don't care about. So here's an example of something I don't care about, bot messages. So I've already gone in here and said mute channel. Um, to make sure I don't even see it, actually, I will go ahead and say hide muted channels. So now I don't even see it at all. Um, the other thing is that some servers have administrators who use at everyone or at here too often. If that's the case, you can always just say notification settings. Um, uh, where is it? Sorry, I go notification settings. I'm sorry for the server, and you can say suppress everyone and here, uh, and also make sure it's set to only at mentions. And that way, you'll only get notified of stuff which is specifically sent to you. Okay, at the end of so we finished this service channel. So if I press Option sh uh, Shift down again, well, it's now gone to the next server, which in this case is the HTMX server. And so I can you continue on reading all of these, and you can see as I do each one. It gets marked as red. Okay, and I finish that server. One more. And we're on to the next one. Okay, so that's the key thing to know, uh, is make sure that you um, mute any servers um, that you don't really need to know about. Also, you can mute categories and channels. So, this, so in fact, for example, I'm not in any study groups for Fast AI, so I just went ahead and muted the whole category. Um, and then when you create messages, um, it's important to know um, that if you hit shift enter, it doesn't send it. And that's the key thing to adding stuff like Python code. So just put back triple backticks, Python, triple backticks, and hit shift enter after each line. And then when you're done, hit enter. And then the other thing that's useful to know about is that you can then hit this little button up here to create a thread and give it a message and now we've got a thread going that's a really good way to make sure that uh, you can have a long conversation without getting uh, confused oh and if you're worried why this is jeremy with a u this is actually a channel i share with my daughter who told me that on discord when talking to her it's necessary to always not have any ease in my name or messages so everything has to be you. Oh, I should have changed this to message you. Oh, well, sorry, Claire. Okay, so other than that problem with too many E's, uh, that's my quick introduction to being more productive with Discord. Uh, and this is a little, my first little experiment of doing uh, fast, short, little videos about small things. So let me know if you find this helpful. Thanks.